Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have something new, Sparklight, a new modern retro game that's coming out November 14th. And I gotta real quickly thank Red Blue Games and Evolve PR for allowing me to have an advanced copy. So let's go in and uh, see what this game's all about. I was reading, oh hold on. Rerouting circumnavigation course around this storm. We need to get out of here. This storm is highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. From now, we have full system. Wait, stand by. We're experiencing a strange, co strange corrosion on our hull. It looks, it, it looks like it's moving. Uh oh, quick, take out the muck with that muck with your wrench. Okay, well, we could uh, easily take out a little guys, little funny guys. Nice work. Uh oh, yikes. Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart. You just kind of charge up your little hammer here and wham whammo, whammo. There we go. Let's get these nails down into. There, oh, we get, oh, there we go. It's no use, we're going to have to abandon ship. Initiating escape protocol. Let's get over there and we can actually zip back across it. Okay, come on, boop. There we go, let's uh, escape. Oh, oh no, the switch is miscalibrated. There's no time. Oh, he has to push it to let me escape. You have to go without me. Please don't fret. It's truly been a pleasure serving you. Goodbye, Ada. Uh, this game is uh, inspired by, on the, on the Steam page it says it is inspired by both Rogue Legacy and uh, Legend, of Z uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. So I naturally had to pick it up. Um, very interested in its link to the past kind of feeling here so let's go and see what we can do here you can already see that i'm uh cu cutting down the grass there what do we got here let's oh, i'm liking it so far we pretty much there just looks like our ships destroyed all over the place Ooh, what's that i got something let's take it you've recovered your family's necklace you've had it since you were a child the way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. Aww, that's so cute. The grass goes back pretty quickly, it looks like. Boop, boop. Which is good. Oh, maybe I just didn't cut those down. What's in here? Inspect. I could do that. Well, that family necklace has already proved fairly useful. It opens up a uh, ominous cave, so let's go in. Okay, let's, uh, what is this? Spark Slinger. Okay, it looks like a crossbow to me. A spark, a spark light tensioner cobbled together with spar spare parts from your pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. Okay, well, I guess we get to shoot a bow or a crossbow looking thing here. Boop. Okay, hit, uh, yep, there we go. Hop across the river or lake, whatever that is. Little water pond. Um, and not bad. It looks like there's a, a little tutorial here. And I want to see, see how far. Yeah, so. Yeah, there is a distance here. You hold down the button to get it to shoot further. Um, I don't think that's really necessary. I mean, we're. It seems to be a very basic setup. Very easy controls. So I don't know if this would be necessary, but. Eh. It's cool. Okay, so we got to replace it now. Unfortunately, we got to put it back down, which is not good. And then it blows up. But, oh, we reverse engineered the spark slinger. You can now assemble it in a workshop. Okay. I don't know what a workshop is, but sure, we can figure that out. It looks like I'm now in a new place. Oh. You found a piece of spark light. This is a primary currency of Jidoa. Okay, well, that's good. I get some money here. What else do we got? Oh, now those do grow back really quickly. 
and I can't walk through them. That's pretty obvious <laughs> that that would be the case. Little mud. Uh, these look like the little guys that were on a ship, but they seemed like the same as that mud. Grab some more of those spark lights. Uh, what's down here? I'm curious now. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Is there a way to fight this guy? Come on, come on. Oh, wait, there we go. I was worried that, like, there was a uh, defense there that, uh, what is the word? I That you had to hit him a certain way like some of the other enemies in Zelda are quite annoying that they have a shield and you have to hit him at a certain time. We got a treasure chest. A, we got a Hawk's widget bag. You found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. Someone likely wants it back. Okay, well, I bet it was this guy up here. Let's break the barrels down first. See if there's anything interesting in the barrels. Okay, let's talk to him. Boy, am I glad to see another person. That was quite a storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground trimmers? I was worried this would was going to... This place was going to shift out from under us. The name's Hawkins, and that is, er, was my wicked job. No way I'll be able to do business if these trimmers keep up. I heard rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Well, guess what I found. Hey. Do you think you can help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some gremlins nicked it from me during the storm. There's a camp of gremlins southwest of here. See if you can find my widget bag there. Yeah, well, I already found it, so look at that. Ah, you found my widget bag. To be honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? A very cool person uses a uh, wrench as a weapon. Thank you very much. Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find this refuge place folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can keep the bag. Oh, I got a widget bag. Sweet, now you can hold widgets you find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. Plants an explosive on ground blowing up after a short. Okay, so like a little bomb. That's cool. If you ever make it to the floating town, come say hello. Okay, well, is there anything else? Make it. Uh, well, let's see if we can blow up some rocks with a uh, widget or a widget bomb. Yep, it looks like we can. Woo! Isn't that nice and uh, a e? Go away! Go away! Okay, so it takes a few hits to kill those guys. Not a big deal. I could also do this little pound thing. Ah, I think I missed him. All right, I may have not. Ooh, you found a piece of blue sparkler. This is worth five pieces. Wow, we're racking in the dough now. I know there's another one of these things. What if there's something below it? I like how you have to set the mine up. That's kind of cool. Instead of just dropping a bomb accidentally somewhere, you, you know, you could, like, more carefully pay attention to what you do with it. Oh, I got a heart, but I don't think I need it. Do all these have... Yeah. All right, we're not going to break those just in case I need the heart. Oh, just a small cavern. Okay. Ooh, that's... Ada! Wait, that was a robot. Ada, you're still alive. Listen, you shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh no, get out before it's too late. Ah, he got sucked in. Well, that's not good. Wonder if I could blow him up with a bomb. That would be kind of cool, but I'm not sure if it would take enough time. Oh, I got hit. Ouch, that hurt. Uh, run, run. I got most of my life taken out there. Oh, can I, can I defeat him? Or is this going to be one of those, like, bosses that... I have to lose two. I don't really like those in games too much. When you have a boss that I have to lose to, which I don't really like, but let's see it, how this works. 
I'll just keep on running around. Oh, oh nope. I didn't make it. That's not good. Uh-oh. A flashlight has been put on us, and we're getting picked up by a giant crane. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Okay. Stellar, you're awake. Well, I am awake. Who are you? Welcome aboard the refuge. It's a safe haven from the chaos on Jidoa. It's also a marvel, modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary astro theory to achieve perfect energy lossless fight. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What? Were you thinking fighting one of those Baron Foremans alone? You need to be in a Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least as strong as one. Well, I think I'm going to end up fighting him again at some point, but... Hold on, that gives me an idea. Can I see your multi-tool? Wrench multi-tool? Sure. Yes, that's prime. Okay, this will only take me a second. Well, what is she going to do with it? Ah, it works. I've outfitted you your multi-tool with a patch board. Oh, you also need this. Increases maximum health by a quarter heart equipable on the multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resilience patch. You can equip it to your multi-tool patch board to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from multi-tool enchantment machine here in Medbay. Okay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out Foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. Ooh, I get the, uh, there we go. But if you want more patches, I'm going to need more spark light. They're powered by the stuff. The only way to get more spike light is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to Cruz on the East Docks. Okay, do I have enough? Do I have to get this one first, or? I don't have enough for either of the other two. What is this back here? I'd really like to have that. That looks special. All right, yeah, let's grab that, I guess. And now, can I equip it? No, there's no... There we go. That's what I was looking at. So we got one. Oh, that's the spark slinger. That's the plans. Okay, what else do we got? That's a map. It looks like discovered patches. Oh, okay. Now, how do I put them on there? Can I pick one? Nope, that got me out of there. How do I put them on my board? There has to be a way to put them on my board and I don't know how. That's weird. It doesn't really say unless it's read temporarily out of stock. Check back later. Uh, how do I put those on my board? Use what is that? Oh, there we go. I see. Okay, so now I should have a full half heart more. Oh, okay. That's cool. Quarter hearts. They give me quarter hearts. Awesome. Okay. Upgrade mil. No, no, don't have enough for that. That's the refuge chief engineer. He hasn't spoken since we launched the refuge. Okay, well, fine. Be that away. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Ooh, barrels. Break all the barrels. Not pots this time. We got to break barrels. Hmm. I hear something chirping nearby, but I can't find it. Chirping. Oh, I found something chirping. That was a little easy. Can I like, wow, it's a beat. Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I can't believe you found one. Beats used to be so easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when the beats can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. Well, that's kind of evil. They're starting hiding to avoid the pollution, but I'm afraid they will die if we don't find them soon. If you find any beats during your adventure, send them here so we can sing with us. Oh, my name's Harmony. And by the way, 
this is my golden beat buddy tempo okay harmony and tempo awesome uh there's another little pink thing down here do i get oh no 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 another beat okay well i wish there was another beat can i just like slam it with my bam hammer thing what's this down here off studying the mutations in the acid bog professor corin okay 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 what is this guy what does he have to do what a oh, mess around here i can't even think i need some spark like to get my workshop back in order these gadgets won't invent themselves i wish i had some i could give him a little bit of spark light can i make oh i need a hundred to construct a workshop it looks like widget shop or a workshop hmm. okay do you have anything i'm not much of a salesman if i can't set up a shop how am i supposed to earn a living if you could find more spark light to power my widget shop i'll give you widgets for free well i'm not just gonna give you spark light i'm the one risking my life here Hey there, rookie! I'm Cruz, Ace Navigator and Pilot. When you want to disembark, talk to me and I'll ferry you to where you need to go. So, are you all geared up and ready to head down for some spoils? I guess so. Woohoo! Away we go! So I guess I'm going back down to the ground. And yeah, there we go. That looks like a really, really large anchor there. Let's hopefully, yeah, we can jump off the edges or go, yeah. That's kind of cool that we can pop off the edges like that. I like that. Now, my, I had a map here. Nope, not that button. I had a map here somewhere, but, oh, there we go. Supply bag. I really wish I had that spark light thing. Okay, so we do have a an overall map that we could check out that's good too bad we don't have any more of those little bombs nope pick up as many spark likes as i can wonder if there's anything in this grass i don't think i've found anything yet in the grass but typically in uh link to the past you have to destroy a lot of grass before you ever find anything that was kind of whoa so i can actually stick him up there that's kind of cool yeah run yeah watch out i don't want him to oh like get me if i'm not careful ouch that hit me pretty hard i don't like that oh i hit him again run run i'm not gonna be able to kill there we go i was gonna say am i gonna be able to kill him at all a little treasure chest Ooh, you found a piece of white spark light there were 10 uh, I would have to say a little too much tooltips here. I think that would be obvious that I could see that uh, as my numbers grow, but that's all right. I mean, it's it's I'm liking it so far, which is definitely good. I love the art style. So, someone's throwing something at me, and I don't like that. It looks like a little cannon. Let's see if it'll shoot. Here we go. Run, run. Okay, it looks like a like a plants versus zombies kind of thing going on there. Uh, an attacking plant that's not good oh, these guys are pretty easy so the big plants seem to have spark lights oh no i fell that's not good the big plants seem to have the spark lights in them and the little grass stuff really doesn't seem to help me much other than they can provide me some cover if need be the grass really doesn't do anything either what's this there's a lot of uh, rocks around here that's would possibly be helpful as well to the golden woods is golden woods good or bad i feel that i need like a bigger hammer or something to destroy those like it would uh i don't know or a gorgon uh ring to be able to pick them up or something oh i don't have I bet you I need my arrows to do that or in that spark light slinger thing. I can't just shove one in there. I kind of wish I could, but okay, let's head out the other way then.
I do like the uh, kind of the style so far. Uh, it does have some uh, interesting mechanics. I like the wrench and the hammer aspect of it. Pretty cool little game here. Although we do have, I do notice that this rock has some little uh, crystal things in it. And this rock over here doesn't. And I wonder if that means anything. Like, does that have spark light in it? But I don't have any bombs, so I really don't know. Oh, that looks ominous. Very, very ominous. Nice uh, use of depth here. Oh, I did not mean to go in there or go back out. Uh, nice use of depth with the uh, pipes above the, um, the, the, the ground there. I don't know the wording to use. I don't want to go over here. What's in these barrels? Okay, nothing. Let's go in the hole, I guess. Oh gosh, you get out of there. Those guys were like right on top of me. I need to pick that heart up because that would be very helpful. Here we go. I'm, I'm afraid we ran into a gremlin shop here. Oh gosh, okay. I was worried. So we're going down into the gremlin holes. Oh gosh. Okay, we got a bomber here. We need to get rid of this bomber because... Oh no, we need to really get rid of the bomb. Oh no. We got... Slight slash slip something. We got cut up there and I'm probably bringing us back up to heal us. Ooh, that was close. Call, we snatched you up just before that quake. The way the world's been shifting below us is truly remarkable. It is if it's completely fractures and reconstructions itself. The world wouldn't be the same next time you go dan This is bark for spark light, so be alert down there. Interesting. So you kind of set up a a way to what is this? Bronze month damage patch. Max energy patch. I don't know what either one of those do. Do I know? Increase the maximum stored energy by a small amount. I don't know what that means. Damage. I'd like to have the damage, but uh, I don't know what the storage does. I'll probably grab me a... Enough for the 100 constructor workshop. Um, or a widget shop here. That's both of 100. Um, before we do much anything else. Um, I do like that they re they, it looks like it's going to be a roguelike where the, uh, world changes every time. And that's kind of cool. And I like how they explain it. Like there's these earthquakes and, um, the earthquakes is what changes the world around. I got, oh, it's, it's a, it was, oh, got another little music guy. That's kind of cool. I didn't expect that, but okay. Well, there's some of those things up there too. Let's grab these. If they seem to always have something. Oh, we found illuminates the area for a short time. A pop light. Wow. All kinds of interesting stuff in here. I'm, I'm excited to the crafting area. I want to be able to craft things and make little cooler weaponry and stuff like that. I don't like this guy. This guy's kind of scary. I wonder if I could... Will that just go off? Ah, shoot. He's tough, too. Eh, no. Can I get up here and charge this up? I walk slower when I'm doing this, but... Ooh, trying to be, like... I'm trying to... Hammer him, but I don't have the thing to. Here we go. Like the uh, the hammer takes too long to power up, and I wonder if I upgraded that spark like thing, it would uh, uh, go quicker. I got it down. Yeah, there's the anchor. I wonder if I can come back up somehow from the anchor. Ooh, there's another adventurer here. Hey there, it's been a while since I saw another person out here. 
The name's Margo. I'm an explorer. My brother Pogo and I were out exploring, but a quake split us up. I want to go back to the refuge, but I can't leave without knowing he's okay. Would you mind looking for him? You can give him this medallion to let him know I'm safe. Okay, well, that's awesome. Thanks. Careful while you're searching for him. These medallions have a tendency to break during fractures. Bogo has always wanted to see some great vines in the Vinelands. You should check for him there. Okay, well, I will see if I can find the Vinelands. Ooh, another one of these. Ooh, I got something else over there. What is that? Launches spark clusters into the air, exploding all around you. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. How do I load that up? Is there a way to... Supply bag. Oh, oh, okay. So, let, yeah, there we go. That's cool. Let's try that out. I'm a little scared about this, but it looks like a... A tent of some sort or a shop. Instead of, like, I'm, I'm, I don't want it to be another cave. I don't think I'm ready for a cave yet. I need some better upgrades. Oh, this looks like... Oh, no, no, maybe not. Yar, yar, yar. Look what just watched up, meaties. It's our next contestant! What are you waiting for? Come on down. Today's your lucky day. We have an exciting game for you to play on here. Monty's Hall. I just need to see your crew card to get started. Stop everything! You don't have a crew card? Look like you'll be walking the plank. Ha! I'm just pulling your peg leg. We are happily accepting new members. Here's your brand new exclusive one of a kind. Monte's crew card. Okay, guaranteed fun for all landlubbers, scoundrels, and scallywags. I love how the audience is like cardboard cutout people. Every time you play me game, I'll add a star to your card. Get 10 stars and I'll upgrade your crew rank. Today games cost 10 spark like to play. Wanna try your luck? I wish I knew how many spark like I had. I do have over 100, so let's go ahead and pay. Woohoo! All right, here's how you play. Open up one of these here chests for a chance at a big reward. Okay, uh, let's do this one. Not so fast before you pick. How about I make this a bit easier? I'll open one of the empty ones. Now are you sure you want to open that chest? Oh, the old Monty, is it a Monty Hall trick? There's a mathematical thing here that I actually should choose. And if you want to look it up, it's the Monty Hall, I think it's a Monty Hall trick or door or something like that. There's things explaining it on YouTube. Um, we're going to switch. You have a better chance of switching. Jackpot! You got Monty's coins. He'll, he's privileged so, he's pillaged so much booty that he's practically given away. These are with 50 spark light. Oh, yes. Whee! What a blast. Well, that's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time on Monte's Hall. Yep. It, it's, yeah, I don't understand the mathematics 100%, but if you're given a choice of three doors and the person opens one of the doors to reveal it's empty, it is always better. Now, I wouldn't say you always win, but you have a higher percentage of winning if you actually open up, uh, choose the other door that you did not pick. Uh, where's my map? I know I have a map in here somewhere. Okay, let's run down here and see if we can find some vine area. Oh, God. oh gosh, there's all kinds of things. 
See if we can get can I get him go away. I don't like this runny guy. He's kind of hard to deal with. I mean, you just got to get him to run into walls and stuff. Stun him for a second and then hit him a little bit, but um, I wish I could use the hammer a little bit better. Time it right. I mean, you got the... He, she does a little... Uh, energy kind of comes to her and then she blinks and you know it's charged. So I wonder if that energy patch would make that come about quicker. I do have 216 now, which is good. Hey, like a little pig, it squeals when I hit it. Eh! Oh gosh. Here we go. Let's uh, see what's in under the. Oh, I think you could. Yeah, you could hit. You could hold it a little bit, but the longer you hold it, I think the bigger the. Uh, splack or the bigger the smack is there's all kinds of stuff here I didn't know I want to get oh okay I see wait how in the world do I get over there hop down here but I'll have to find another way out it looks like two how many hits is it gonna take to kill this guy two what three four five Six, six hits. Okay, six hits with that. I am getting close to dying, too. I wish I had a way to heal myself. Oh, I should use my little uh, bomb thing on him next time. Hmm. Yeah, let's do... Oh, 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 run. Everything takes a time to do... Oh, it hit him. That's good. I did hit that one guy, so... We did get somewhere there. Oh, it looks like I picked up something else there. That's kind of cool. Oh, he did a lot. I must have done a lot of damage to him because I, I only think I hit him twice. Uh, with the um, sword and or my wrench. So that means that uh, the uh, bomb explosion thing did quite a quite a good thing now what else did I have in there no that's not what I want in my backpack oh a little bit of light okay okay cool cool for these guys if I'm close to him I could do a bunch of hits at a time but I like this little mole dude he's kind of cool I want to break every one of these rocks because I never know when there might be something below one of them. Something good eventually is going to come out of me breaking all these rocks here. Where am I? This is kind of a, a crazy map here. I got quite a different a variety of areas to go through. There is something over there, but I'm going to have to... Oh, I will not be able to get it yet. I got to break that big. wonder if... Um... Nope, not big, not far enough. Not close enough. Oh, okay. that's fine. I'm going to have to... I don't think I can get to it from... Oh, we might. I think this is a close-off here. Yeah. I only jump small gaps, and I don't think I can jump that big of a gap there. What is up here? Is this the vine area to the golden woods? Nope. I was hoping there would be vines somewhere so I could find that boy. Oh, can I not go in the deep water? I guess I cannot go in the deep water, which is, I guess, a good thing. I'm finding a lot of things that will light up the area, though. I got several of those now. Ooh, that's something else. Packs a punch of adrenaline, healing for a small amount of health. Well, that's good. That's... Definitely. Oh, another bug! Yay! Wonder what. Gatter bomb. Oh! And it's like I could do it several times. So let's go ahead and do that. That will be useful, but I want to switch it back so I don't want to accidentally use it when I don't need to. If I go back to my map. 
kind of wish there was a quick button to hit to go to the map. But other than that, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, ooh, what's this? Oh, is this the guy? Oh, I didn't think I'd meet anyone out here. I'm Pogo. Nice to meet you. I was exploring with my sister Margo, but we got split up. I can't go back to the refuge until I know she's safe. Huh? Is that Margo's medallion? That means she's okay. Yippee! Now I can head back home. Please take this. I found it while I was exploring and have no idea how to use it. This patch reveals the Vinelands on the world map when you land in the world. Well, that's cool. Thanks for your help. If you ever back at the refuge, come find us. See ya. Hey, can I make that jump? Oh, yeah. Ooh, what'd I get? What'd I get? Something else. Discharges burst of spark light energy in all directions. That's kind of useful. Okay, so we've went up that way. I guess it's time to go down. We're going to explore just a little bit more, and I think then we're going to see if we can head our way. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay. I uh, wonder if I could do something like nail these down. Oh, I can. Interesting. Let's see what this does. They looked like nails from the uh, ship in the beginning. And it did absolutely nothing. Um, I wonder if... Oh, I was going to say, I was wondering if there's any more nails. There we go. Look at that. I uncovered something. Oh, yes. Another... Uh, a heart medallion thing. That's pretty awesome. I like how they're doing it so that you can um, do different medallions on and kind of power yourself up the way you want to, which is really cool. Hey, that guy's going to pop out. You can do a harder hit or more health or however you want to run it. Uh, you can do it whatever, whatever way you choose. I kind of wish I did a little spin attack. That's I'm so used to that in uh, Zelda. To the Acid Bog. I don't think I want to go to the Acid Bog. I'm not going to head down into the uh, dungeon there. I don't think I'm quite strong enough. I think I need a few gadgets first before I do that. Um, and Acid Bog's down, but there's that... Ooh. Let's get this guy out of here. Oh, did I kill him? Yeah, I think so. It's three hits for these guys. I think I got that other guy hit me. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Oh, let's pick up all the little spark lights. Got some more. I like the uh, the animation as you're going through the leaves. That's pretty cool, too. Knocking uh, the leaves out of the way as you run through them. It's nice when you get games like this that are inspired by games that you really, really enjoy, but are, uh, and this is why I like modern retro games so much, is because you get a little bit of flavor from what you enjoy and what you like, but then also you're, you, they have new things in them, either new mechanics, a little bit better graphics, uh, because even like the, uh, Nintendo, um, uh, 8-bit was not a true 8-bit system, so... Ooh, what's that? Strengthens your efforts, giving a bonus to the damage you deal for a short duration. Awesome. Um, so you get these different little mechanics or maybe a little bit of graphics. Like I was saying, the 8-bit of Nintendo is not truly 8-bit. There was a lot of uh, graphical limitations on that as well. So it's nice to have games like this that is able to... Upgrade gets you a little bit better graphics, but keep them simple uh, and then add mechanics that were uh, not necessarily possible or thought up uh, when the Nintendo or Super Nintendo, I guess uh, Link to the Past was Super Nintendo, uh, they were uh, available. So it's really cool to have these options and I always... I have a kind of a love-hate with roguelikes. Usually that means permadeath, and that's something I don't really like. But I do like the aspect 
of playing, um, you know, uh, area or a game over when the levels are different. So I like that uh, ability for the world to change. Um, and that's really cool. And roguelikes give you that. Shifting sands. I don't really want to go to the shifting sands. But, um, yeah, so the roguelikes are kind of cool to give you that uh, shifting world. And that allows you to uh, have a lot more playability in it. And I really like that aspect of these games. Ooh, that, can I open... I feel that that is another tunnel I probably shouldn't go into. I'm a little low on health and I would like to make it back up to the the uh, anchor and figure out if I can get down in there or not. Or uh, uh, out. Oh, get away. Uh, figure out if I can like use the anchor to get back up. That's kind of what I'm... I would really like to do. Oh, come on. Oh, not that guy. These guys, oh shoot. These guys are not actually that difficult. Which is kind of cool. They, you just gotta watch them because they throw those rocks out. No. Hammer these rocks. And we are all ready to head back up into the, we'll make a couple workshops. And I think that will probably be the episode for today, unless something else uh, really exciting happens. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Now, grab the spark lights. Make sure I always grab these spark lights because they're going to really help me out, I think, in the long run. Having these... Looks like I opened up... Did I miss something there? I feel that I missed something down there. It looks like there is... Nobody, did I not go down there? Now I'm curious as to if there's something uh, down here. The enemies seem to have stayed dead, which is good. I like that. Uh, that's uh, another very useful thing. Oh, I did miss that completely. Oh, I don't like that. We'll kill these guys, but I'm not ready for gremlins, I don't think. These guys, the little guys right here are pretty simple, but... A full-on gremlin dungeon I don't think I'm ready for. I really would like to have something else to, you know, make me a little bit stronger. I'd love to have that bow is what I'd really like to have, that spark light thrower. I like this too, and I noticed this on a couple other uh, um, Legend of Zeldas, is that if you go to the edge... Wait, I think you have a little bit of a... Oh, no, you just jump straight off. But I can't run off the edge. I can't dash off the edge. Do that dash. But I was thinking it like paused for a second before it made you jump off. And our way back. Oh, this, these guys are still alive for some reason. Maybe they come back after so long. I don't know. No. Maybe there's a, like a timed event if you're away so long. That was like in uh, the first Legend of Zelda. It's kind of the same overall above squares of like Legend of Zelda or, the, or A Link to the Past. And if you went so far away, they would respawn. The uh, uh, enemies would respawn. Or maybe the whole square respawns. Is there a way to use this anchor to get back up? I would like to. I would hate to have to die to get back up. I mean, that really looks like the anchor. Is there a way? Resume. Huh. Does it seem to be a real explorer's badge? Let's... Oh, I have to wait until I get on the thing. Um, it does not seem like there's a way to use the anchor to get back up. Which is kind of unfortunate, which means I've got to die every time. Which I don't particularly like, but that is the anchor. I wish I could call him to come and get me. Hmm. And I don't see a way to do that right now. So I guess we're going to have to see if we can go find somewhere to 
get an enemy to hurt us. And maybe that's just the way they do it to make sure that the earthquake changes things every time. You have to fall down here. I think that hurts me. Oh, well, not quick enough. I don't really like this, but we'll see how it goes. Guy, little guy picks me back up and we're heading back up, I guess. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of real damage to you. Oh. Did I lose all that stuff? Oh, man, did I lose all my... My supply bag is... Okay, good. My patches I still have. Supply bag. And it looks like my... Um... Uh... Spark lights are the same, too. So that's good. Let's just go ahead and all these patches on here. Uh, just for... Oh, that takes up more than one space. Interesting. So we do have 200 gold... Oh, yay, they're up here. Sweet. I do not know the voices I made for these two characters. Hey, Ada. Hi again. We're taking a breather from exploring. Yeah, those quakes were making it tough. But we won't let them stop us. Yep, we'll be exploring in no time. Hi, right, sweet. Okay, I don't know what this is going to do, but let's go ahead and construct uh, the works. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is really what it's going to be here we're gonna have little wings out oh and let's go to the bird guy too because we picked up a couple more birds too hi Ada. we're still working on getting our song right but did you want to hear it anyway nah all right just remember whatever you when it went just remember when we are ready to sound off whenever you want to hear us wow i could not read that at all for some reason okay let's see what he has hey take one before you go packs a punch of joe oh, sweet so he uh ended up letting me have a another one of those awesome uh and then we can upgrade this shop more which is awesome thanks to you i'm back in business if you find more spark light we can make this widget shop even better um i really wish there was a way to where was that for a crazy vision that hurt. Oh, I need a workshop. Okay. This was a... What was this again? This was a widget shop. I need a workshop. And that was the thing that was down here, I believe. Let's go in the workshop. And see if I can make something new. Thanks for helping me fund my tinkering. But you can't be in here if you don't know what you're doing. Only the best minds can master the art of spark light engineering. Just a minute, what have you got there? Is that a schematic for a spark light slinger? That looks like quite an exceptional device. Using a spark light tensioner for maximum kinetic energy. Why didn't I think of that? Where did you find inspiration for this? Let me see that sch schematic. Are those founder rules? How could that be? The vaults have been sealed for all of recorded history. In any event, I could learn a lot from your findings. Here, take this. This patch reveals the location of the Founder's Vaults on the world map after you land in the world. It's a vault triangular patch. It's a logarithm helped us discover the vault locations long ago before we gave up trying to enter them. If you find any more inspiration in those vaults, come back here to my workshop. You can use any available workbench to invent a gadget and breathe life into those schematics. And if you run out of workbenches, you can power up more by bringing me Sparklight. Now get going. I have more valuable discoveries to make. Okay, so invent. Sure, for 50? Yeah. Sweet. I got me a spark like now. Does it actually shoot my spark lights? I have no, it doesn't seem to. Okay, that's good. I was wondering if I'd use up spark light as I use it. Well, I think that's going to be all for oh, but it does have a little limited usage here. 
which would help me that energy thing that was in here. There was an energy patch. What did this do? Maximum stored energy by a small amount. Oh, okay. Now, that was a damage. I think we're going to grab this. And buy it. And then we are going to put a bunch of patches on if I can. That's my energy. And this is the triangular patch. Okay, we got a couple more spots in here. Sweet. Now, I don't know. Can I, like, rest or something? I wonder if that, like, how the quickly that charges back up. I wonder if it's a time limit on that thing or how that works. But we'll figure that out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. This is an intro to Spark Light. Uh, an interesting new modern retro game uh, from the maker of Red Blue Games. And I love it so far. The uh, inspiration is Rogue Legacy and The Legend of Zelda. A link to the past. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.